good morning students uh, in the previous lectures we have discussed about the variation method and some examples how to solve the schrodinger equation by the use of variation method now today we will use a variation method with a very simple trial function to obtain an upper limit for the energy of the ground state of helium atom as we know that the helium atom consists of a nucleus of charge plus ze surrounded by two electrons so the potential energy of the system in this case is given by p equal to minus ze square upon r1 minus ze square upon r2 plus e square upon r12 where r1 and r2 are the distances of electron 1 and 2 respectively from the nucleus and r12 this this is the uh, separation of two electrons now if we consider the nucleus at rest so the hamiltonian of this problem it will be like h equal to minus h cross square by 2m del 1 square plus del 2 square minus ze square 1 upon r1 plus r2 plus uh, e square upon r12 where z is here z is a true atomic number in variation method the calculation of the energy is greatly increased in accuracy by considering the quantity z as the parameter z dash instead of as a constant equal to atomic number if the interaction energy e square upon r12 between the two electrons were not present then we know that the ground state eigen function of helium would be the product of two normalized hydrogenic wave function phi 100 r1 phi 100 r2 so let us choose a trial wave function phi r1 r2 that is equal to like this that is a product of two hydro because phi 1 and phi 2 are hydrogen like wave function so we know the value of wave function that is under root z dash cube upon pi a0 cube e to the power minus uh, z dash r1 upon a0 and similar case for phi 2 so now we know that uh, the equation phi 1 it must satisfy the wave equation this why because we know that uh, the schrodinger equation is minus h cross square upon 2m del square psi 1 is equal to e minus v phi 1 where this is a kinetic energy potential energy and so on and we know for the case of hydrogen the value of e and v so we put the equation like this minus h cross square by 2m del square phi is equal to this is phi 1 equal to z dash uh, e square phi 1 upon r1 minus z dash square omega h phi 1 because e is minus z dash square uh, omega h and v is equal to minus z dash e square so the, this is the potential and this is energy is minus so we put it here and omega h is e square upon 2 a0 where a0 is radius of the first bohr orbit now using operator equation we can write equation 4 as this minus h cross square by 2m del 1 square equal to z dash z dash e square upon r1 minus z dash square omega h similarly we can write for uh, del 2 square for r2 so by adding these two equation we will get this minus h cross square by 2m this equal to this and we know that we will put this because we need in hamiltonian h equal to here so the value of this we got from this equation and we will put this value in equation 2 so substituting we get the hamiltonian of this problem h equal to this so three terms are there so we will solve one by one then the uh, because this is the what is the basic of the variation method we have to minimize the energy 
first we find the expectation value of the we will find the expectation value of the hamiltonian so this is our hamiltonian so the expectation value of hamiltonian uh, energy that is e equal to integration of phi bar h phi d tau and similarly we can write like this minus 2 z dash square omega h phi bar phi d tau here integration phi bar 1 upon r1 plus r2 1 upon r2 phi d tau and the third term is the interaction energy. Now if you want to solve the first term you can see here the first term will be this is phi bar phi and what is phi? Phi is a normalized wave function. So integration of phi bar phi is 1. So if we want to calculate the expectation value of energy so the first term will be it is simply minus uh, 2 z dash square omega h because uh, phi bar integration of phi bar phi is 1. Now the second term is this. Here we can see we know that uh, the helium atom consists of uh, one nucleus and two electrons are surrounded there and the distances r1 and r2 are approximately the same. So we can put 1 upon um, r1 plus 1 upon r2 equal to 2 upon r1 here and then we proceed further. Uh, for this uh, the value of phi bar and phi you know this is hydrogen like wave function. So it is uh, z dash cube upon pi under root z dash cube upon pi a0 cube. So here phi bar and phi is there. So it is the square is there. So z dash uh, cube upon pi a0 cube and e to the power minus 2 z dash r1 upon a0 this. So here we put the formula integration x to the power n e to the power minus alpha x dx equal to factorial n upon alpha to the power n plus 1. This integration is from 0 to infinite. But here you have seen here because this is d tau and the spherically symmetric potentials are there. So in place of d tau we put r1 square dr1 sin theta 1 d theta 1 d phi 1 and we know the value of the integral theta and phi will be 4 pi. So we will put it outside 4 pi and the integral remaining integral is like this and here we can use that formula. So the um, power of x is 1 here r1 is 1 here so that n is 1. So we can write here factorial 1 upon the alpha is 2 z dash upon a0 so 2 z dash upon a0 to the power n plus 1 that means 1 plus 1 is 2. Mm -hmm. So similar the value of this uh, we have solved this and the second term it will be 2 z dash minus z uh, e square upon a0 is 2 omega h we will put here and this is the uh, final value. So the expectation value for second term is 4 z dash uh, z dash minus z omega h ok. Now the third term the third term is electron um, interaction energy. So for this this is the integral here you can see the uh, e square upon r 1 2 term is there. So first we uh, write the values of this because phi r1 r2 because interaction is there so we have to use phi r1 r2 and this uh, we have already uh, write the value of phi r1 r2 that is a product of two hydrogen like wave function. So the value of this we put here z dash cube upon pi a0 cube square e square double integration 1 upon r12 e to the power minus 2 z dash upon a0 r1 plus r2 this. Now if we put uh, 2 z dash upon a0 r1 is equal to rho1 similarly for rho2 and for rho12 then if we put this value here then this integral will be changed as because the value of d cube r1 is uh, a0 upon 2 z dash whole cube d cube rho2 and uh, for d cube r2 we can write this one. So now the integral is like this. This is the integral. Now this the above integral is most easily evaluated by regarding it as the mutual 
इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ टू ओवरलैपिंग स्फेरिकली सिमेट्रिक चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन विच case simplifications from the theory of electrostatics can be introduced for this we consider the potential at any point due to charge distribution of electron 1 and then calculating the interaction of electron 2 with the potential field for example to find the potential at any point v rho to suppose this we have to find the potential at this point due to spherically charge symmetric charge distribution of electron 1 one electron so we divide it into two concentric spherical shell this one and this two this is for one and this is for two for a point outside the spherical shell the uh, potential is calculated assuming the entire charge of the spherical shell to reside at the center so and for the point uh, any point inside the spherical shell the potential is the same as that on the spherical shell so if you want to uh, find the potential at this point so we divide into two spheres symmetrical shell so from 0 to rho 1 suppose this the point is inside this rho 1 shell so what is uh, our consideration that for any point inside the potential is same as that on the spherical shell so what is the point at the spherical shell it is rho 1 so from 0 to rho 1 if we move from here from 0 to rho 1 the value of uh, charge is rho 1 and from rho 1 to infinite because this is outside the shell so this is our center so if this point is outside the spherical shell then the potential is calculated assuming the entire charge of the spherical shell to reside at the center so uh, the center is it will be rho 2 okay so by this we can solve this integral as 1 upon rho 1 to is 1 upon rho 1 from 0 to rho 1 and from rho 1 to infinity this this is for case of rho 2 because we want to know the potential at point uh, rho 2 so this integral will be now like this e square upon r 1 2 and this is our integral rho 1 uh, square d rho 1 sin theta 1 d theta 1 d phi then rho 2 square d rho 2 sin theta 2 d because this is a double integral and uh, again because the theta 1 and theta 2 and phi 1 these integrals are 4 pi the value of this integral is also 4 pi we can put it outside 4 pi into 4 pi and this is the thing. so this is our integral if we solve this integral we will uh, discuss it further the value of this third term is 5 z dash uh, omega h upon 4 so now our expectation value is minus z dash square omega h plus this and this so this this is our expectation value now this is our first term first we have to choose the trial wave function then we have to uh, calculate the expectation value of hamiltonian now the third one is to minimize this term for minimization we put del, del e upon del z dash is equal to 0 by this we can get the value of z dash is equal to z minus 5 by 16 so we put this value here so we get the e minimum the value of minimum energy so if we put here you can say that it is uh, e that e is equal to minus 2 z dash square 4 z dash z dash minus z is minus 5 by 16 we put here omega h so it is minus 2 z dash square omega h and z dash square is z minus 5 by 16 so this is the final result that if we uh, Put the formula a minus. If we put the formula a minus b ka whole square, then this is the result. So this is our uh, minimum value of energy, and therefore it is closest to the ground state energy according to the variation method. So by this method, we have uh, uh, got the value minus two point eight four seven six e square upon a zero, and by experimental uh, if we consider the experimental value for the minimum energy which is required to remove both the electron from the atom it which is 2.904 e square upon a0 so we can say that our uh, our result is 1.9% above the experimental value 
and uh, if we calculated uh, calculate this by perturbation theory then the value of this by perturbation is like this so this is minus 2.75 e square upon a0 that is 5.3 percent above the experimental value that means variation method is more suitable uh, for the solution of uh, Schrodinger equation for the case of helium atom. So now we uh, quickly discuss the how we solve this integral that is rho 1 2 because earlier we have discussed about uh, the theory of electrostatistics from this this is the integral we have got this and we have got this integral to solve this first we consider first we uh, solve the case for rho 2 therefore we put it uh, integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus rho 1 rho 1 square d rho 1 outside and first we solve the for the case of rho 2 and we know uh, if we want to uh, solve the integral from we divide it from 0 to infinity we divide it from 0 to rho 1 and uh, rho 1 to infinite so here in this case because we know that rho 1 2 is rho 1 if we uh, take the limit from 0 to rho 1 and if rho 1 to infinite we will take then the value of rho 1 2 is rho 2. So, if we uh, replace the value like this then we can solve it by simple integration. This is the first term, this is second term. In this, this is the product of 2. So, integral will be like first function that is rho 2 square into integration of second means minus e minus rho 2 from 0 to rho 1 minus whole integration differentiation of first means 2 rho 2 and integration of second this. Similarly, we can find this because this is rho 2 and rho 2 this is only rho 2. So, this is first function rho 2 into integration of second minus differentiation minus whole integration differentiation of first this. So, if we can solve this like step by step you can solve this and again in the last you find the integrals three type three integrals. Uh, like this this is from 0 to infinity all are from 0 to infinite and we know the value of this integral that is factorial n upon alpha to the power n plus 1 so by putting the value all the values we will get the value uh, 5 by 4 and this so the third term uh, how we can solve is like this so this is all about the ground state of helium atom by variation method now in the next lecture we will discuss about the uh, Wonder Walls interaction.